hello my friends welcome to the channel and thank you for watching my top five series in this series we're gonna be talking about many many topics the goal is to open up a debate figure out five talking points about something and allow us to think outside the box and have a discussion remember Everything we have today started somewhere long before it's happened. If that makes sense? In this first episode, I am going to talk about my top five mistakes that I believe Chelsea Football Club made last summer. And we have the consequences today because of those mistakes. All right, let's go. Mistake number one, selling Kurt Zuma. You can say whatever you want. Zuma can't play football. He can't play from the back. Blah, blah, blah. But all that, my friend, is just the narrative. If you look at Kurt Zuma closely, you will figure out that Kurt Zuma is world-class at what he does. Yes, he might not be a modern, the so-called modern centre-back. He might be an old-school centre-back. But in a team, you don't always need people with the same profile. A profile like Zuma's, you can't really find them a lot nowadays so instead of appreciating the quality of zuma we tried to highlight all his mistakes but for me i kind of love no nonsense defenders old school defenders he was one of the best in the league last season with five goals and we lost five goals spectacular well-timed tackles and all that and we didn't replace him that was the first mistake that we made last summer number two selling tammy abram again the narrative would tell you that tammy always type in he doesn't know how to play football he doesn't score with his head blah 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 but if you check on fact tammy was our top scorer for two seasons in a row the second season he didn't even play half of our games but still finished top of the table you know what i mean so if you compare the narrative with the reality you will see that they are not uh, right okay and um, we thought that timo Werner was better than tammy abram but what is happening this is the second se season for mr uh, timo Werner. what is happening the rest is history so selling tammy abram without making sure that we got somebody who is better than him was a big mistake mistake number three that chelsea made was let's say cdm cm slash center back whatever position okay this is really working together with everything that i just mentioned selling kurt zuma without replacing him and not going for Declan Rice. Also, a big narrative in the community. Declan Rice is overrated. But we all know that every academy product and every English player is overrated, right? According to specialists online. But the reality 
fact checks if you look at statistics he is winning in every single department you got the clan rice you got a package unfortunately people always complain about money when it comes to the clan rice when it comes to spending 100 million on lukaku oh pay whatever money it takes when it comes to going to hakimi that we really don't need 80 million please on my knees get him at any cost but when it comes to somebody from england or from the chelsea academy they are overrated they are hyped by the media is nothing you you know just don't buy him also a big narrative and Declan Rice is somebody that we need in this current moment that we are suffering with injuries in every position. He was going to be the missing piece for Chelsea Football Club. Let's move on to the mistake number four. The mistake number four is going to be the number nine position, Romelu Lukaku. Okay, so... According to the narrative on social media and everywhere, Thomas Tuko did want Romelu Lukaku and it's Marina or the board decided for Lukaku. You know that I don't believe on narratives and popular opinion. But this one kind of making sense because Thomas Tuko is not using Lukaku where he was, he was supposed to, to be. So that is kind of sending a message to the board that I didn't want him to begin with. Because if Thomas Tuko wanted him, he was going to change the system to put Lukaku in the right conditions to start scoring goals. He continues with his system, knowing that Lukaku is going to be very poor in his system. So kind of makes sense. You know what I mean? But I'm not going to confirm all the narratives and popular opinions. I'm not into that business. But if that is true, that there was a conflict between the board and Thomas Tuchel, and then we made a huge mistake. I think we had, we, if that's the case, <clears throat> they had to listen to the manager and give him what he want instead of imposing him somebody that he is not going to use in his best position. You know what I mean? But that is a big if. So that is kind of connecting to the point number five, which is the system. A big mistake that we made last summer during preseason is not working on few systems. You know what I mean? We're still playing the same old system. We got figured out. We got found out and now we are rushing things out. If we worked on other system, 433 or whatever system, we were going to be fine by now, even though we have so many injuries. We were going just to twist the system and get a result. So not working on the system was a huge, huge mistake by Thomas Tuchel. You can see that we are trying now, but it's a little bit too late because you prepare the war. You just don't go to war without any gun or anything. You prepare a new system when system number one is working perfectly. You don't wait until everything is broken down until you start thinking about something else. You need a plan B, you need a plan C. That's it, guys. I think I'm done. Leave your comment. And like I said, I'm not telling you that I am right or I am wrong. I am just opening the discussion in the world of TikTok. People don't want to analyze things anymore. It's all speculations. So me coming up with some talking point like this is just to open a debate so you can remind me probably something that I forgot tell me in the comment probably you think those are not mistakes according to you and just let uh, have a conversation